How's it going everybody? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how I'm losing subscribers from making new content and how it really doesn't matter at all. So, uh, if you've followed me for a while, you've probably seen that there have been long periods of time where I haven't been putting out content. And since I started again recently, every time I put out a video, I actually have been losing some subscribers. And you might think that I would be frustrated or worried about that, but I'm actually not concerned about it at all. And let me give you a couple reasons why it doesn't really matter what your subscriber count is. The first thing is, is that it's basically a vanity metric, right? The number of people subscribed to or following you or whatever else doesn't actually necessarily correlate to people actually giving you their attention or caring about what it is that you're creating. So if you have 10 million subscribers, but you put out a video and only gets two views, that doesn't mean that those subscribers have any value. They're not active, they're not doing anything. In the same way, when I put out a video and you know I have content that's up to 10 years old now, there's a couple things that could cause someone to unsubscribe. One, I've changed the style of content that I've been making to some degree. Two, they've changed, right? Because I know for myself over the past 10 years, I've definitely changed some of my interests and some of the things that I care about and want to follow. And the other thing that's sort of related to this is you don't necessarily or really get any more opportunities because you have more subscribers, right? What uh, partners and, and people care about is the amount of attention you're able to pull. So if you're creating things that people don't care about and don't want to see, even if you have tons and tons of subscribers, it doesn't help. Uh, so basically I look at it as, you know, now that I'm creating content again, people that are seeing this content or having it reintroduced to them, if they're no longer interested in it, then I don't want them to, you know, get notifications in the same way that if I was subscribed to something, they put out new content that they hadn't for a long time. And I lose some of those subscribe, like I unsubscribe from something because I'm not interested anymore. I just don't want that sort of content. In the same way, if you don't want that sort of content anymore, or people don't want that sort of content anymore, it's not a big deal. Now, you might be thinking around like, okay, but doesn't that mean I'm taking a step backwards in some degree? Like, I'm losing some of my audience. And the truth is, there are other metrics that are more useful to pay attention to, right? So in, in the YouTube sense, and this applies also to just sort of like making music or, or making any sort of content where people are consuming it, the more important metric is how much people are actually consuming or enjoying the content, right? Not this arbitrary metric of do you have so many followers? Because again, if you have the followers but you don't have any engagement, it doesn't matter. So that's one thing to look at is does your community actually exist? Are they engaged? Are you engaging with them? Is it is it real, right? Like I'm sure you've seen fake accounts on, on YouTube or Twitter or whatever else where people have tons and tons of followers, but they put something out and no one actually responds or pays attention to it at all. So that's one of the things you wanna look at. Like it's much more valuable to have a thousand people who actually care and are engaged with the content than 10,000 or 100,000 followers who don't do anything. And you know, it's, it's the same as if you just had 10,000 bot accounts following you. If there's no engagement, then there's no real value or utility. It's just a vanity metric to say, oh, look, I've crossed this threshold, but it's not actually useful in any way. Uh, so those are the things that I would pay closer attention to, right, is how much are people actually consuming the content? So for YouTube, this is sort of like watch time. Um, for music, this could be number of plays, things like that. And then the other thing is, what sort of community engagement do you have? Do you have people that you can actually talk to that respond or that you can release content to that have some sort of reaction? Uh, and, and whether or not that reaction is positive or negative, it really just matters that you're actually getting it in front of people who care. So, uh, like I said, I've been losing subscribers and I've seen lots of people really get focused on subscribers as a metric, but the metrics that actually matter are not related to subscriptions. Subscriptions are sort of a carryover of getting sort of that attention. So... If you're sort of on this journey of creation or whatever else, don't worry so much about how many people are following you, right? The things that you want to focus on are how much people are actually consuming the content and then other things, you know, that are in your control, which is like the quality of the content you're putting out, how often you're doing it, um, whether or not you're focusing on different sub aspects of the skill to improve. So if, for example, you know, if it's 
making music, like focusing in on flow or wordplay or, or different aspects that you can actually grow and improve on. But simply looking at uh, sort of followers or subscribers is, is not that helpful. Look at how much watch time or plays or whatever else you have because that will be more useful to see if people are engaging with things. And then this sort of follower, subscriber type of stuff will come uh, secondhand from that. Um, it is not really the primary way to track whether or not the things you're making are landing with your audience. So that's all I've got for this video, and I'll see you next time.